Okay, so to change the carbon filter, just pull it in at the side there, this whole wall will drop down. So once you've dropped the glove box out of the way, you'll see there's two yellow marked snips on either end. I'm going to push them in the way, and then this should lift up like that. <coughs> and make sure you take a note which way the airflow is, the arrows are, pointing down the way. And then just try and grab it somehow and pull it out. Get a little hook or something because I've got big, big hands. This one's not too bad actually, but we'll um, change it anyway. So have a look inside. There's a lead there. Let's get rid of that. Any other debris in there? Um, if you're real fussy like me, this is pretty clean in here, but sometimes I've taken the hoover and just hoovered out any uh, compartments or whatever. And then uh, slide your filter in. I'm using TJ filters, which is uh, Quinton Hazel rebranded. I've noticed lately they don't like to put arrows on anything. I'll tell you which direction it is. Uh, but I know by looking at the filter that it goes that way. Uh, yeah, so you just slide it in, push that down, and the, the snibs will automatically you know, spin the clip into place. It should pop out the way, but if not, just give them a lot of push. And that's it, and then just put your glove box back in. And then, oh, I can it with two hands. Oh, I should have said, there's a, a little gas strut here. You have to pop off. Um, let's see. It's just a clip, you just push it, the ends in like that. And uh, just remember to put that in first before you close the lid. Caught with two hands. You and me. We meant to be in the great outdoors. So yeah, that's a clip back on. Just push it in. And then you can push it. Closed. Sounds horrendous. And that's a uh, camera filler done.